It's the nightmare scenario. You've had spinal surgery. You've had something with your neck, something with your back, might have been a fusion, a laminectomy, dissectomy, might be something like that, but the pain hasn't gone away. There's still pain in your neck, there's still pain in your back. What can physio do to help this out? And today, that's what we are talking about. So if that's you, if you've had something like that happen, you must be despondent, okay? That you've gone in to get the problem solved, surgery's been recommended, and the pain is still there. What can, what can we do? What is the, the process that we need to undertake? From my shared experience here at the clinic, when it comes to post-surgery uh, rehabilitation for spines, okay, by and large, the rehabilitation for spinal surgery isn't always the best, in my opinion. It's not always the same as something like a knee surgery or a shoulder surgery, where there's a really structured return to activity program. You know, with shoulders, there's you know TheraBand and weights and things like that. With knees, you know, you're not running for nine months yet. With spinal surgery, quite often we're just told, okay, just uh, try to move around as best you can. You know, in six weeks it'll be a lot better, and uh, you know, come back for review. And you know, by you know the twelve month, uh, sorry, the twelve week to six month mark, everything should be sweet. Um, not always the case and if you're watching this and that's you then this is going to be really really helpful for you the key when it comes to surgery okay whether it's any surgery it doesn't matter if it's shoulders whether it's knees um, or spines for that matter it's all about getting the strength back around the joints and the muscles that are affected Okay, so when we're rehabilitating a shoulder or a knee, a lot of squats for the knee, a lot of weight with, with the shoulder, a little lifting. When it comes to backs and necks though, there's not always a tailored program to get those muscles back to where they want to be. Now, it depends on also, you know, the approach. If it's gone through and they've literally cut the muscles of your back to get into your spine, then there's a muscle injury there, a big one. The same as in the neck as well. So my biggest point with this is that we have two very good bits of equipment that can strengthen spines to get you back to where you want to be, which would have the aim to make your movement more efficient and by having more efficient movement, the reduction in pain generally comes from there. So the first bit of equipment we have is for necks and it's called the multi-cervical unit, okay? And basically it's an apparatus where it's a strength machine for your neck. All right, so we're able to load up with weight uh, in increments of down to a quarter of a pound. So we're talking about a very light weight uh, and we can work up to heavy in all different directions, whether it be looking up and looking down, whether it's turning side to side and even side to side tilting as well. And we can combine those movements as well. And so if you have had a neck surgery, if you've had you know, a disectomy, if you've had a fusion or things like that, we do need to get those muscles around the surgery site much stronger in all directions. And I'm telling you, there is no better way to do it than to actually get the head stabilized and lift weight with your neck. As scary as that sounds, just remember, it's only an increment of small weights. And uh, we'll post in the comments below uh, a picture of the MCU. Maybe you can edit that in, Taylor, into the video. So if you're seeing it now, thanks, Taylor, that, uh, that's the MCU that you're looking at. The second bit of equipment is the Medex Lumbar Extension Machine. And basically, it's the same type of machine, but it's for backs, okay? So with backs, there's less movement than there is with the neck, okay? So obviously, necks can go side to side and up and down. But with lower backs, basically all they do is they bend forward and they arch backwards, okay? So that's what a spine does at the lumbar spine. And so what's really important with that is to get strong in both the lifting upright way and also controlling the bending forward. So you might be a person who's had a surgery in their back and they found it really struggling to bend forward because of the pain, but you actually need the muscles of your back to be strong because if you do bend forward, those muscles need to hold you up and stop you from you know, toppling over and you know, kissing the floor effectively. All right, So you need to have muscles there that are really strong to control that bending forward and then also powerful enough to stand you up straight and endurance enough to keep you there so you're not getting that fatigue and that pain in your back. So when you've got pain in your back, a lot of the time after surgery, it's actually as a result of weakness. It's a result of a lack of strength as opposed to anything to do with um, the surgery itself. So getting that strength into your back after the surgery, of course, once it's safe to do so and everything's healed, so obviously talk to your surgeon about when that would be appropriate, and then you strengthen the back using that Medex lumbar extension machine. Now that we've just made eye contact, uh, Taylor and I behind the camera, here's a picture of the Medex machine and what it looks like, and there'll be another link as well in the, um, 
the status above just talking about that Medex machine as well. So um, when it comes to spinal surgery, the missing link is generally the strength after surgery, having a good rehabilitation process to get the muscles back to where they ought to be. So if that's you, you've had surgery, there's still pain there, you need to get strong first because if you're not strong, you're gonna have pain, okay? Because the movement isn't quite as efficient as what it once was. So we need to make sure that that's all covered. So in the link above, there's a page about the MCU and a page about the MedEx. And of course, if there are any questions about it, please drop us a line and we can go from there. I hope that's been really, really helpful and I hope to see you again soon for the next Facebook Live video. Cheers and bye for now.